Development is propelling China forward in the hypersonic race. A similar wind tunnel tests conducted in other countries require one component dash usually an aircraft to stay afloat. In addition, this other test was carried out at speeds lower than Mach 5, while hypersonic flight exceeded Mach 5. Researchers in southwest China say they have developed the world's most advanced system to test the aircraft's ability to disassemble weapons or small spacecraft at very fast speeds, allowing them to test prototype hypersonic bombers. Since the 1960s, military scientists have used a device known as a Captive Trajectory System CTS, during wind tunnel tests to study the cargo unloading capabilities of bombers and other military aircraft. Systems typically use small cranes to move bombs or missiles from aircraft to mimic the separation of two objects against strong currents in a wind tunnel. A team led by Lin Jinzhou of the China Center for Aerodynamics Research and Development in Sichuan Province said they had built a hypersonic CTS that uses two robotic arms to hold and tilt the prototype aircraft at its payload, allowing them to throw, rotate and roll in almost any direction. In 2017, Lin's team built the world's first CTS with the ability to function in hypersonic wind tunnels against super-fast heat and shock waves. The new device is a major improvement over their previous one-handed CTS, according to a paper published Monday, September 19, in the Chinese peer-reviewed journal Acta Aerodynamica Sinica. During experiments in a one-meter-wide wind tunnel, the upgraded device allowed Chinese researchers to simulate cargo loading at Mach 6, six times the speed of sound, and obtain data with unprecedented detail and accuracy, the newspaper said. When working together, the two robot arms have 12 degrees of freedom, or independent joints, twice as many as in the previous experiment. This allows researchers to simulate almost any phenomenon that can occur during separation. So far, the CTS tests available in other countries only support one body movement. In the hypersonic range, there are no reports of CTS being used at all, said Lin and his colleagues. China is developing a two-stage transportation system designed to reach anywhere on the planet in just an hour. The system aims to use large hypersonic aircraft to carry weapons or ships with passengers at very high speeds, then release them at high altitudes near space so they can glide from one continent to another. But separating the plane from cargo at such high speeds could be dangerous, according to Lin. When a hypersonic aircraft separates from another object, the high speed and pressure can cause shock waves, eddies, and other airflow patterns that can increase the likelihood of the aircraft and its payload colliding. Whether storage can be safely separated from the aircraft is a major issue, he said. The main difference between a hypersonic aircraft and an intercontinental ballistic missile is that the aircraft is expected to return and land at the airport after making a delivery. Because test flights were expensive, the development of hypersonic aircraft required a lot of wind tunnel experimentation to help prevent accidents. A pair of mechanical arms in a hypersonic tunnel is not easy. Rigs, if not properly designed and positioned, can jam tunnels and reduce test accuracy. Such high-speed winds can produce shocks as strong as explosions. The robotic arm must not only withstand repeated shocks for nearly a minute, but also keep motion errors within a millionth of a meter, or one micrometer. These extreme conditions place heavy demands on precision motors, gears and the CTS control system, according to Lin's team. The movements of the two robotic arms must be precisely timed and coordinated based on real-time flight conditions during the simulation. Communication between the arms is difficult because the electrically charged particles that occur during hypersonic flight can interfere with sensitive electronic devices. Chinese researchers must develop new sensors, computer algorithms, and super-fast communication technologies to overcome these challenges. Lin said that during the Mach 6 experiment, they observed the formation of shock waves between the hypersonic aircraft and the cargo separating. These shocks bounce back and forth between the surfaces of the two bodies, causing the cargo to lose speed and take on an unexpected tone that could lead to a collision with the aircraft. Some of the shocks also went sideways, causing the plane to roll into an unstable position. By carefully adjusting the relative motion of the plane and its payload, the researchers say they can find safer ways to unload the payload under various flight conditions. Chinese researchers have proposed several methods for dropping bombs or missiles from hypersonic aircraft. The proposal is based on computer simulations and is waiting to be tested in wind tunnel experiments. 
Some said the gun could be released through a hole in the tail of the plane to reduce the risk of a collision. Others suggested removing weapons from side doors in the fuselage or simply carrying bombs under the wings of the plane. A research team with the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing recently came up with a new approach inspired by air aircraft carriers. They designed a hypersonic transport plane with a long flat surface on its back. Similar to a runway. Once the plane reaches a speed of Mach 7, the second stage on its back will either start its own engines or be propelled by electromagnetic forces to leave the platform like an aircraft taking off from an aircraft carrier.